What does a gastroenterologist do? What does a urologist do? And what does a nephrologist do? I'm Dr. Jen. I'm going to break it down. All right, starting with gastroenterologist. A gastroenterologist is a physician who deals with the organs in the digestive system. So starting with the GI tract, they deal with the esophagus, the stomach, and the intestines. But they also deal with the biliary organs as well. So what are those? It's like the, um, uh, the bile ducts, the liver, the pancreas, as well as the gallbladder. So why might you see a gastroenterologist? Well, if you need a screening colonoscopy, you're going to see a gastroenterologist. You have issues with acid reflux. You have irritable bowel syndrome, celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's or also colitis, fatty liver disease, and so much more. All right, moving on. Let's talk about nephrologists next. I call them kidney doctors because nephrologists are physicians who deal with the kidney and its function, okay? Now, the kidney is so important, it filters out waste from the blood, so we definitely need the kidneys. Uh, but the thing about it is nephrologists really deal with those conditions like uh, kidney failure, dialysis, chronic kidney disease. If you have electrolyte imbalances, such as elevated potassium, uh, low sodium, and other things like that, because our kidneys are crucial for our electrolytes, okay? Um, also, patients who have maybe uncontrolled uh, hypertension or high blood pressure because the kidneys are involved in controlling our blood pressure, glomerulonephritis and other kidney diseases, polycystic kidney diseases, you name it. So those are some of the things that nephrologists do. Keep in mind that nephrologists or kidney doctors are non-surgical. They don't do surgery and they just focus on the kidney. Now, moving on to urologists. Urologists deal with the kidney too, but in a little bit of a different way. But in addition, urologists deal with the entire genitourinary tract. Whereas nephrologists just, just deal with the kidney and its function, urologists will deal with the kidney, um, but they'll also deal with the entire genitourinary tract. So that means things like the, um, the bladder, the ureters, the urethra, um, the kidneys, of course, but also the male reproductive system. So that's um, your prostate testicles, uh, penis, and female reproductive organs so that your pelvic floor and things like that. Um, the urologist is a surgeon. So oftentimes they deal with um, issues that affect uh, not only function, but structure. So kidney cancer, kidney stones, bladder stones, um, things like that. Uh, oftentimes renal cysts, they'll be involved with that. So you might be saying, well, what kind of conditions would I see a urologist for? Well, that might be an enlarged prostate. If you need a vasectomy, um, if you have a penis or testicular issue, uh, if you have urinary incontinence, if you have um, uh, kidney cysts, if you have kidney stones, urinary tract infections, okay? And I should say that there is some overlap in terms of uh, nephrologists and urologists. I have many patients who are seeing both a nephrologist and a urologist for their kidney issues. So it's possible that you may be seeing both. Just understand they deal with, they deal with slightly different things and urologists are surgeons who deal with the entire genital urinary tract and nephrologists are medical doctors, non-surgical who deal primarily with the kidney. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Let me know. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos. Please subscribe to my channel, follow my page, like my page. I'm on TikTok, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, um, you name it, threads, etc. Follow me there and go to my website, drjencoddle.com for more information.